Shalom, shalom. Welcome to another episode of You Are Not Wife Material. Man, in these episodes, these are simply case studies of how many women there are out there that are desperately desiring a good man, but a man won't come within 10 feet of them with the opportunity of marriage. You know, the Bible talks about those that uh, choose to live a lie, the Most High will send them a strong delusion because they love not the truth. And this is truly something that the older women need to understand and hear. It is your job, it is your assignment as an older woman to impart knowledge and wisdom and educate for righteousness sake the younger women. But this is the painful truth about the women out here that uh, have all these high expectations, uh, you know, for a man and they themselves are of no value. Now, if you are a man and you're watching this, you know, let me know down in the comments without being disrespectful. You know, how many of you are looking for a, uh, a woman or a wife like this? Let me know with a simple, I'm not, I wouldn't marry her or uh, I would marry her. And this is serving as a case study, you know, and this years from now will serve as a case study. And women can see in the comments that if they got that same mindset, they'll understand the importance of repentance. Repentance, turning from, you know, your former ways of ignorance, turning from your former, you know, life that did not bear fruit. And even still, man, a lot of these women are hoping and praying, but simply, they're too far gone. Roll that footage. No. Have you seen her before? No, I haven't. Okay, you ready, boo? I am. All right. What's your name, baby? Nay Love. <laughs> Nay Love. Where are you calling me from? Fresno. Fresno. Okay. How old are you? I'm 32. I'll be 33 in August. Nay Love. <laughs> Fresno, 32. So you are a Leo or a Virgo? Yeah, I'm a Leo. Do you have any kids? I do. I have twins that's nine, a daughter that's, uh... no, my twins is 10, my daughter nine, and then I have a two-year-old. Okay, so four kids. I do. Okay, all by the same man? Um, no, my first kid's uh, father, he was murdered. Sorry. So, 2017, yeah, so. So how many, yeah, how, many men, how many men do you have um, kids by then? Well, the first three is by one. Okay. And then my my two year old is by one. So okay, two. so two men. Yeah. Sorry about your first kid's dad. Why yeah. are you not with the man you had a baby with two years ago? He owed and I was tripping. He's what? He owed like he um he ain't mine shit <laughs> was he ever he yours mine. or no um no i was just like from my first kid father you know i was just like going through it a lot and um turning up too much and uh yeah and it happened and i kept my baby coming to find out he had a whole baby mama pregnant with that baby and 10 more other kids and my baby's a secret and he ain't in his life. He's a deadbeat. Like, it's just weird. Like, the baby did something to him. But, yeah. He 50, what, four? <laughs> yeah, he's 54. He's my mom's age. He was my mama's friend. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my mama's friend, he didn't like, like I said, I was with my kid's father for like, <coughs> since I was 18 years old. So after grieving and going through everything I was going through and still going through, because it never gets old. <coughs> you know, okay. Uh, I made, I did what I did. And I mean, my, my son, he here, he mine. I take care of all four of mine by myself. So I'm not looking for no help. So. <coughs> Excuse me, my God. <laughs> They daddy, they daddy was a working good man. He was, what, 26 when they did what they did um, to him or whatever. It was a mistaken identity. So, oh, you know, he was 
you know, he was working all the way up until he was like 18, all the way up until they killed him. So my kids is taken care of. So, you know, I am too. So it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. I got a question. How does your mom feel about her friend dating you? Oh, my Lord. We ain't even going to get into that, honey. She done picked that man over me and my child so many times. It's crazy. Wait, it's what long, they had to date? Did they ever date? No, she just felt like that was her friend. And I'm just like, I'm your daughter. And yes, I have a kid by him. So step down on that. But <laughs> it, was, it went crazy. I went to jail. Oh, it was crazy over all that bullshit with them too. It was weird. But no, well, they never fucked around. How, how was it now? <sighs> Man, shit just hit the fan once I had had them. I just found out a lot more than what the fuck I needed to know about that man. And I, it was just too late. Baby mama drama and shit, like, just too much for me to handle. While I'm taking care of the <coughs> other kids and still grieving, because like I said, the shit never gets old. So I just ain't got time for it no more. I'm over it. Okay. Ooh, child, we got a whole backstory. <laughs> So we got Nayla so from California, 32 Leo, um, mom to four, a 10-year-old, and two two nine-year-old twins, and a two-year-old. What do you do for a living? Um, I do child care. And like I said, you know, my kids are taken care of. So. so I do child care. I can't really do much because my baby, I still breastfeed him, so it'd be hard. So I, I, do, I do try to pick up on jobs, but... He be acting crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, I do hair. Like, I done bust down in this kitchen, get my money, you feel me? <laughs> and it just be hard because he's, he's still breastfeed. So he just be on me, and I be taking hella long to do people hair, and that's unprofessional. I'm already being ghetto doing it out my kitchen. So then I got to take breaks to feed heads, this big old ass. So it just be, <laughs> yeah. it be crazy. <laughs> So, yeah, I do hair whenever I feel like it, Indian child care. Whatever floats my boat. I don't sell ass, though. I don't do that. Mm -mm. So you don't do what? It's big enough, but I don't sell it. <laughs> is is that, that an option? Huh? Is that an option? Hell no, nah, that ain't no option. I got a daughter. Mm -mm. No, <laughs> I got a daughter. I got kids. I don't do none of that. But, no, I'm not broke neither. I don't need nobody. Okay, so your care job is kids. you do child care in here. Mm hmm Okay. All right, honey. So we got Nayla, Fresno, California, 32. Um, is a Leo, moms of four, by two men, one fat one was murdered, unfortunately. Uh, Never married, does child care in here. What kind of man are you looking for, baby girl? Oh my God, the list gonna go on. So not a liar. No cheaters. Um, bro, <laughs> what's that? Handsome. Okay, that's my friend. She already married though. But um, <laughs> what kind, man? Just like trustworthy, trustworthy man for real. Like, um, what else? Cause if I destroy my whole baby daddy, that's who I don't want. A liar, a cheater, a manipulator, a narcissist. Uh, man, just a fuck nigga. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want no brokies. I don't want no game bangers. I don't want no weed smokers. I don't want. I want a man. And that's just period. Because I got four kids and you got to be around my kids. And I don't allow none of that to go to go down. And that's just period. <laughs> okay, you kind of just gave me your deal breakers. But do you want to just. You gave a lot, but what else? Do you have I any sure more deal breakers? Oh, no, that's it. That's mm -hmm. it? Yeah, that's kind of it. Because I live in Fresno, it's small out here, and they crazy out here. They is whacked out. So <laughs> I just know what I don't want, you know, and that's just what I don't want. That's not what she wants. All right, so we got Nayla, Fresno, California, 32 Leo. Um, do you want more kids? If I get married, one more, one more. 
Okay. Yeah. Should the guy look a certain way? Yeah. Um, don't look fucked up. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> No, okay, so I don't I'm not picky. You know what I mean? Like I'm not picky. Um, but I'm not gonna come on here talking about, oh, I want a, a six foot man. No, I just want a, a, a good looking person. You ain't gotta be all six foot chocolate, all that shit. No. You can be regular, but just don't be looking crazy. You know if you're gonna look crazy or not. That's just period. You just, okay. You know, like that. okay, what about money? Can you make a certain amount of money? No, just don't ask me for none. You said like, earlier, no brokey. So, what's broke to you? Yeah, like I'm talking about like real life broke. I'm talking about can't uh, Ubering around, can't don't have no car, that type of broke. Like, you ain't got no car, you ain't got no car, never had no car, living at home with your mom in her basement. That type of broke boy. Okay, get over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> they nosy. My sons. Boy, you try to be nosy is what you trying to be. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, okay. You could have waited. Yeah, my okay. sons are always checking for me. Okay. Um, let's do the kids or cam. Oh yeah, right. Damn. Let me see. Cause people know that they be trying to get all up in the background too. Let me see. You don't see me. Can you see me? Oh, we can see you, booty. Oh, yeah, we can actually see you. We can see you, girl. <laughs> okay, I'm on my stairs. All right. Yeah. Next, what was your relationship? My kid's father. Okay, that's when I was. When was he murdered? Uh, 2017. So the guy you had a two-year-old baby with, you was never in a relationship. No, we just fucked and I got pregnant three months later. Yeah. Yeah, it's next one time. <laughs> no, we were fucking. We were fucking. Uh-huh. And <laughs> I got pregnant and like three months later I was pregnant. I kept my baby. I don't believe in abortion because I was grown. I knew what, what I was doing. So why kill a baby? Take that responsibility on what you do with and I need that. Even though I didn't want it, but I, I shouldn't have been fucking with no condoms. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, very transparent, I see. Um, yes. so, Nay, when was your last relay? Okay, you know, when was the last time you was intimate with somebody? Yeah, it was his daddy. And uh, I want to say about like. Three weeks ago. So you're still having sex with a two-year-old dad? Why he a deadbeat? That's just crazy. But I don't want no more bodies on me. You feel me? Like, so I'd rather deal with the deadbeat ass, nothing ass nigga when I'm feeling a little frisky and I, cause I don't do new bodies. You feel me? And uh, yeah, so whenever I'm feeling away, I'll call him. And he comes. He door dashed okay. that dick, and that's just fair. Your heart was messing up a little bit, so I'm going to try to work through it. But what was the kind of qualities of the man you want again, you say? Wait, say it again? I said, what were the kind of qualities you desired in your guy again? What kind of qualities? Yes. Ah, man. Like, okay, so I can describe my kid's father. Hard working. You know, if he wasn't working, he was hustling. That was flipping old things. You know, just investing. Um, if you can't find a job, at least you could pick up on something, right? Because I don't, I don't judge. So, um, hardworking, good looking. Oh, hello. Oh, the audio. Oh, okay, our audio is messed up. So I'm gonna go back. Is it mine? Because I got kind of yeah. Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's you. I'm in Dallas. It could be me. I'm in Dallas. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah, because I got some good Wi-Fi now. Um, someone Lee Lee Turner said standards but no accountability. So I guess he's what saying you, you have standards, but you're not taking any accountability. And what and what is the accountability that I need to take? Because I definitely do. Actually, I think you did to be quite honest. I think you took accountability. Part. Yeah, that I was uh loose in the head from you know. Being young and just losing somebody that I was 
I, I thought I was going to really raise my kids with, that's a lot to deal with. You know what I mean? So, yeah, and I was I was just out there, and I met my second son, father, and I did what I did, and I took re re uh, responsibility, and I had the baby, and I take care of him. <laughs> so. Well, let me ask you this. Um, I think there's a lot of things going on, right? And I will say this. Okay, you know, you had your, your first, your three children's dad passed away. So I actually understand the grieving issue. And I, I feel like you took accountability for how you got the two-year-old baby. But the fact mm. that you guys are still having sex after all that you told us about this man. And I understand your, your, your logic in your mind is logical because we have a baby. I don't want to enter in more sexual activities. But I think a man of quality, this could be a red flag. There's a lot of things. That could be a red flag, especially since you have a two-year-old child that and you're still sleeping with the child's father. So it's not even like I mean, he on a block list now. I mean, that was three weeks ago. Like <laughs> Girl, three weeks ago ain't shit. 21 days. It's I know. Three weeks ago. And you said all these things about this man. You said he was old. He your mama friend. He all these things. Like you pretty much described this man in the worst way. And he is the worst. He is. is. Say what? I say he is the worst way. He is. Yeah, you're still, you're still having sex with. So regardless of what you say, you still sleep with this man. I slept with him. Yeah, you're right. So I'm just telling you how a man might, the type of man I think you want, will perceive this as, why would I sign up for that? Well, it's not like I'm sleeping with a, a host. Uh, this is my kid, father. It's not like it's another man. You know what I mean? But that's easy cut off game. You know, like I said, that's only when uh, when I'm bored. <laughs> but now I'm being for real. Child, the fact of the matter is you're still sleeping with the father of your child who will be in your life essentially for the rest of your life and the baby's only two. Right. You're right. Uh, you got some paid questions. Do you want them? Yeah, I do. Okay. Bobby said, Jesus be a fortress. Wait, he said what? Jesus be a fortress. What that mean? I guess Jesus protect this situation or block this situation. And what do he need to protect or block? Bobby, pay again to, to further confirm your statement. L -I said, okay. L double I said, I'm proud of you for not getting an A B, I guess abortion. Take accountability for your actions. But respectfully, you're delusional. Come back when you stop being intimate. Um, that don't make me delusional. And uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yes, 201 said, it usually takes three months to start seeing red flags. This one took a little over three minutes. LOL. Shaking my head. Um, go get a cat, fellas. Go get a cat. Yeah. Um, yeah. But they they behind the computer or whatever the phone talking shit. So it take motherfucking courage and fucking balls to get up on this show and tell your motherfucking life and your secrets and all about you. So for you to just be typing and saying what you're saying, degrading people on because how you feel, it doesn't really matter though. Because my life gonna keep lifing at the end of the day. So I really don't care about what nobody on here that's sitting back on a computer or a phone saying. So okay, red flag be, that. This will be, I mean, this is why I asked you first if you want me to read the questions or not. This will be the last one. True okay. Teachers said, how is she in child care with a toxic and dangerous lifestyle? She's cussing, talking about jail, hooking up with different men. Hooking up with different men. Girl, I only got two baby daddies. Don't play with me like that. I ain't hooking up with no motherfucking men. Yes, I deal with my kid father every now and then because I have a kid by him. But cussing, so what? We all cuss, and Don't make me no bad mother. Do you have any kids? Is my question. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with the questions. Back to you. What are the three flaws you have to work on, love? Cussing her, cussing, and whatever the hell they said. Then my flaws I got to work on, apparently. All right. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? 
Because I'm a good person. Like, I cook, I clean, I take care of my kids and my responsibilities. At the end of the day, I'm not broke. I'm not on welfare. I'm not on none of that. Um, I respect people who respect me. Um, I don't know. I'm just me. You got to find out for the rest of it, I guess. And what's the age range you want to date? You're 32. Yeah, my age. And, uh... I'm scared to say anybody older because these older people is childish as fuck. Okay. Um, so I'll say like around my age and I'll try like 40. 40? Yeah. Okay. And should the guy be in Fresno? He could be anywhere. He could be anywhere? Yeah. He don't got to be black. I really don't want no black nigga though. I ain't going to lie. Uh, I what, think I'm going to start. What race do you prefer? Um, I do Mexican because my kids is black and Mexican. So I'll do mix, Mexican. So your, your child's father was Mexican that got murdered? Yeah, Mexican to black. Okay. So you prefer a Mexican man. Is it too, the, Your mom's friend was black though, correct? Yeah, like Indian, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So prefer, the preference is Mexican man. Now let me ask you this. Are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Yeah, I just made it. Mm -hmm. Is it Nay Love? Yeah, it is. Let me see. Is it the way you spell it right there? Yeah. Nay Love. Um, um, well, I think this is you. This is you? Wait, like, I don't know. Like, it's like you have cut off, too. Like, is this it's you? Been like that for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I actually took that today. Nayla, this is our today picture. Yes, it is. Okay. So hmm. Nayla, 32 child care, child care, looking for a kind, friendly, God-fearing humor. Deal breakers, no gangsters, gang bangers, no pedophiles, no weed smokers, can't be bipolar or have mental issues, can't be broke, no stinky breath, no missing tooth, no liars, no manipulators, no narcissists. I'm just saying, y'all probably over here packing all that while y'all trying to talk shit about me. I got all my teeth. Wait, what did you I say? Know, I said they probably over there packing all, all of it that I said I did not want. That's probably why they sitting, <laughs> sitting up there talking about me. Ooh, she said, yeah. She, she, she said, you guys all got my deal breakers. breakers. <laughs> Y'all got all my deal breakers. I want somebody to get up on here that was talking that shit. Get up on here. Let me, let me see. Let me see what you working with for real. <laughs> She said, let you see. You don't want no more paid questions. You have more, but it's up to you. Yeah, go ahead. I'm a Leo, baby. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm ready for it all. The moon guy said, you're still being intimate with the Debbie. Yeah, you're you're broke by association. Hey. Mm. No, because that means, like, if my friends are hoes and I'm, hoes I'm a hoe, too, that ain't right. But I get the little terminology, birds of a feather flock together. But no, I don't believe in that either. So, I mean, but to each his own. I guess I'm broke then, huh? My okay. Who's the master said, like my uncle Willie always told me, the baby daddy is still lurking while the new guy is courting and spending all his little money. Mm, not necessarily, but... Your Uncle Willie probably had some bad experience on paying money with somebody, baby daddy that was lurking. Sorry for him. All right, baby girl. Well, let's do it. She's Nay Love, fellas, for the men that are interested. Nay Love <laughs> on the Kendra G Singles dating app. You push the heart if you like her, the star if you really like her. And let's see how it goes. Keep me posted, baby. I will. Thank you, Kendra. Bye, baby girl. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs>